Welcome back everyone to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers and today is June 7th, 2024 and before we jump into things here as per usual I want to go over the affiliate links in my description. I do have a Dragon Shield discount code as well as a TCG player affiliate link and any purchase that you make using those links I get a small bonus from it and it really helps support the channel. Now here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis so thank you all very much. With that being said, let's get moving. Starting our losers list off here today with Urza's Incubator, and this is the borderless version of the card from Dominaria Remastered. Down 16.65% from $30.15 to $25.13 for its market price, and its average price is $31. Make an example, and this is the extended art version of this card from Commander Streets of New Capenna. Down 16.80% from $8.63 to $7.18 for its market price, and its average price is $8. Shuko from Betrayers of Kamigawa, down 16.87% from $15.89 to $13.21 for its market price, and its average price is $14.97. And the next loser here is Academy Manufacturer, and this is the extended art version of this card from Modern Horizons 2, down 17.05% from $6.51 to $5.40 for its market price, and its average price is $7.51. Pearl Medallion from Commander Masters, down 17.14% from $8.17 to $6.77 for its market price, and its average price is $7.60. Veil of Summer from the Secret Layer series, down 17.28% from $13.83 to $11.44 for its market price, and its average price is $14.86. Next loser is Lotus Ring, and this is the showcase version of this card from Outlaws of Thunder Junction, the big score. Down 17.33% from $12 to $9.92 for its market price, and its average price is $11.37. Drown and Dreams from Commander Innistrad at Midnight Hunt. This card is down 17.39% from $5.75 to $4.75 for its market price, and its average price is $5.02. Shaman of Forgotten Ways from Dragons of Tarkir. This card is down 17.48% from $8.64 to $7.13 for its market price, and its average price is $7.15. Fiend Artisan from Ikoria Lair of Behemoths. This mythic is down 17.51% from $8.45 to $6.97 for its market price, and its average price is $8. The Gitrog Ravenous Ride, and this is the extended art version of this card from Outlaws of Thunder Junction. It is down 17.64% from $7.88 to $6.49 for its market price, and its average price is $7.49. Soren Imperious Bloodlord from Corset 2020. This Planeswalker is down 17.81% from $45.87 to $37.70 for its market price, and its average price is $45. Court of Vantress from Commander Wilds Veldrain. This rare is down 18.04% from $5.60 to $4.59 for its market price, and its average price is $7.33. Grim Hireling from Commander Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. This card is down 18.21% from $22.08 to $18.06 for its market price, and its average price is $22.02. Ancient Cornucopia, and this is the showcase version of this card from Outlaws of Thunder Junction, the big score. This card is down 18.47% from $20.85 to $17 for its market price, and its average price is $17.06. Nazgul 338 from the Lord of the Rings. This uncommon is down 18.85% from $10.40 to $8.44 for its market price, and its average price is $9.94. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Sauron the Lidless Eye, and this is the extended art version of this card from the Lord of the Rings. This card is up 5.23% from $23.88 to $25.13 for its market price, and its average price is $30. And the regular copy is sitting at $1.79 for its average price, and you can find that card in the starter kit from the Lord of the Rings. Now besides this card being utilized a lot as a commander itself, another commander that likes to be in is the Beast Deathless Prince. Next on our list is Ayavugan from Modern Masters 2015. This card is at 5.74% from $55.91 to $59.12 for its market price, 
and its average price is $76.36. Any World Lake original copy is sitting at $60.96 for its market price, and its average price is $75.49. The Judge promo copy is sitting at $110 for its average price, and the Zenigar Expedition copy is sitting at $140.80 for its market price, and its average price is $160. Now this card is being played right now, the most in the Commander format in Eldrazi Commanders like Zuladok Void Gorger, and Ulalak Fuse Atrocity, which is a newer commander we got in Modern Horizons 3. Sea King's Blessing from Legends says Legend Uncommon is up 8.71% from $19.87 to $21.60 for its market price, and its average price is $33.49. Now this card is seeing a lot of play right now in one of the newer commanders from Modern Horizons 3, Nadu Wing Wisdom. Next winner on our list is a Secret Layer Series card, Harmonize and it is up 8.98% from $15.82 to $17.24 for its market price, and its average price is $39.93. Now this card came out in the secret layer, Hatsume, Hatsune Miko Sakura Superstar, and it's a very popular IP in Japan, with his character's popularity being extraordinary, with the secret layer being sold out incredibly fast. You could have got it for $30, but it's no longer available. In fact, there's other expensive cards in the secret layer, like Miko Lost But Seeking, which is also Azusa Lost But Seeking, currently sitting at $21.67 for its market price, and its average price is $39.93. Another one is Miko the Renowned, which is also Feathered the Redeemed, and this one is sitting at $20.84 for its market price, and its average price is $130. So this definitely would have been a really profitable secret layer, even if you were to buy this just as a collector. Even though I'm not a massive fan of the character, I have to admit it does have beautiful artwork, and I can see why there's such a demand. And the next winner on our list is Dathi Voidwalker from Modern Horizons 2. This rare is up 11.83% from $10.54 to $11.82 for its market price, and its average price is $12.49. And the pre-release copy is sitting at $47.07 for its average price, and the extended art copy is sitting at $14.42 for its market price, and its average price is $15. And the retro frame copy is sitting at $15.32 for its market price, and its average price is $16.27. And the retro frame foil edge copy is sitting at $12.98 for its market price, and its average price is $14.84. And the game day promo copy is sitting at $107.44 for its average price. Now this card is being played a ton in the modern format in Rakdos Scam decks, However, also see some legacy play in Reanimator as well as Demir Scam. And the next winner on our list today is a special guest card, Ghostly Prison. Now this card is up 16.37% from $6.84 to $7.96 for its market price, and its average price is $7.34. Next up on the list is Riverglide Pathway from Zenikar Rising. This land is up 17.84% from $11.94 to $14.07 for its market price, and its average price is $13.97. And the pre-release copy is sitting at $9.43 for its market price, and its average price is $13.72. And the borderless copy is sitting at $9.55 for its market price, and its average price is $10.32. And the From Cute to Brute Secret Layer Series copy is sitting at $12.98 for its market price, and its average price is $16. The Borderless Secret Layer Series copy is sitting at $7.91 for its market price, and its average price is $8. Now this card is seeing most of its play in the Pioneer format, in Is It in Soul Artifact decks as well as Teamer and Domino Creativity, however also sees play in Is It Phoenix decks as well as Commander decks like Stella Lee Wildcard. Next winner here is Castle Garenbrig from Throne of Eldraine. This land is up 18.43% from $5.48 to $6.49 for its market price, and its average price is $6.19. The pre-release copy is sitting at $8 for its average price. The pre-release copy is sitting at $8 for its market price, and its average price is $8.43. The promo pack copy is sitting at $5.69 for its market price, and its average price is $6.22. The extended art copy is sitting at $10.41 for its market price, and its average price is $12. And the version on the list is sitting at $6.22 for its market price, and its average price is $6.05. Now this card does see some play in the modern format in Amulet Titan decks, however also sees some Pioneer play in Nykthos Ramp. Next winner is Alliance of Arms from the original Commander set. This rare sorcery is up 19.55% from $6.60 to $7.89 for its market price, and its average price is $8.65. 
Now the version on the list is sitting at $7.75 for its market price and its average price is $12.50. Next up on the list is Darkness and this is the Universes Beyond Warhammer 40k copy up 19.62% from $5.20 to $6.22 for its market price and its average price is $6.09. And the Surge Foil copy is sitting at $6 for its market price, and its average price is $8.32. And the Legends copy, which is the original printing, is sitting at $10.88 for its market price, and its average price is $10. And the Time Shifted copy is sitting at $9.34 for its market price, and its average price is $8. Now this card is being played a lot in the Popper format in Cycle Storm decks, however also sees a ton of commander play in commanders like Emotech the Stormlord and Brina the Demigog. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Order of White Clay from Shadow Moor. This foil is up 12.38% from $10.26 to $11.53 for its foil market price, and its average price is $7.32. Zombie Trailblazer from Torment. This old frame foil is up 12.64% from $13.84 to $15.59 for its foil market price, and its average price is $13.48. Forsworn Paladin, and this is the AFR ampersand promo version of this foil, up 18.82% from $6.11 to $7.26 for its foil market price, and its average price is $13. Corlash Air to Blackblade from Future Sight. This foil is up 20.24% from $16.80 to $20.20 for its foil market price, and its average price is $13.62. Trade Routes from 8th Edition. This foil is up 20.83% from $21.17 to $25.58 for its foil market price, and its average price is $30. Progenitus from Conflux. This foil is up 25.60% from $25.47 to $32 for its foil market price, and its average price is exactly the same. Knighthood from Urza's Legacy, another old frame foil on our list, up 27.44% from $3.79 to $4.84 for its foil market price, and its average price is $4.26. Berenton Medic from Shadow Moor. This foil is up 30.63% from $4.44 to $5.80 for its foil market price, and its average price is $7. Prowess of the Fair from Lorwyn. This foil is up 30.90% from $26.73 to $35 for its foil market price, and its average price is $12.84. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering Market Movers. It really, really means a lot to me. And if you guys could, could you hit that like button down below so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm so that way my channel can continue to grow on YouTube. Also, let me know in the comment section below what your favorite mover of the day was, which cards you're most surprised to see on the list, and which cards you actually own that showed up on the list today. I do read every single comment that you guys leave, so please leave them there down below for me to read. Also, I make these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back again on Monday for the regular Market Mover series. However, I'll also be back tomorrow for the Week's Winners Edition, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, guys, have a fantastic rest of your day and an even better weekend, and take care. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.